you're looking at this. Um, this week, uh, I want to focus a little bit in the um, in this week's overview on kind of moving towards the um, moving towards your first kind of formal writing piece. And I say formal almost with uh, scare quotes around it because um, it really is an informal. I don't want people to get uh, stressed out about this literacy narrative um, that's due on the 25th at midnight. Um, because really, uh, it's it's supposed to just give us an opportunity to engage in the writing process so that we can move beyond it in the next um, in the next section of this course. So really, its goals are just to kind of showcase where everybody is and how everybody approaches the writing process um, at the end of this kind of introductory uh, two units. So the end of unit two really marks the end of the beginning. Uh, and a movement into a little bit more content-based instruction in writing. And so there's a couple things that I think are important for you to recognize. And Ted. Um, first is that I would hope that the workload that you've experienced in the course uh, so far has been manageable and not too overly taxing. Um, and I do this for two reasons. One, I wanna make sure everybody knows how to navigate the content and feels comfortable accessing the mini lectures and accessing the assignments and doing discussion board posts. And second, uh, this also throws us off cadence a bit with other courses that you might be taking. And so um, you have a small assignment due this week where in other courses, perhaps you have a much larger assignment that you're working on um, right now at the end of kind of the first month of, of instruction. So that's the rationale behind it. But really, I, I want to think about this sample this literacy narrative as a glimpse into your current writing state so my goal is my hope is that you approach this with a similar kind of um, mindset that you approach much of your other writing in academic spaces and we can talk about what works about that and what doesn't work for that and um, and kind of move from there so um, that's the goal for that assignment in terms of this week's uh, work and deadlines and due dates. One of the things you'll see is you'll see a little lecture that I recorded and uploaded. And thanks to all of you that let me know that that uh, link needed to be fixed. Um, it should be all set now. Um, and then there's a series of readings. And if you go in, it'll give you a, a kind of some links that I've curated towards some textbook resources. Uh, inside those links, there's some videos, there's some audio, there's some reading. Um, and it's a lot of different ways to approach write, reading from an academic standpoint. And so in the mini lectures and in some of the work we've done already, uh, we've looked at your background with reading and your history as a reader and some of the things that impacted that and the relationship that they may have caused. Those resources really are just um, best practice for engaging in academic content. So some of it's gonna be stuff that you know some of it's going to be new, um, some of it's going to be useful, some of it's going to be not useful, but my hope is that you can incorporate some of that into your narrative. And so uh, I recorded a video um, for the narrative, but I also wanted to just make sure that I uh, prefaced it here. So if you are looking to write the narrative, it's really two things. I'm asking you to reflect on an experience from uh, your, an important experience from your time as a reader. And then I want you to take that experience from your time as a reader, and I want you to apply some new piece of learning from this unit that's focused on reading to that. And so maybe it's a mindset that you had as a kid. Maybe it was a bad experience. Maybe it you know, might have been, um, let's say, popcorn reading, right? Like you had to go around, I don't know if anybody else did this, but popcorn reading was like, you know, the teacher would call a name and you'd have to pick up reading where the last person left off. You know, maybe that created some anxiety for you when you stumbled over words or you didn't know where you were and um, you know, you've never really liked reading since then. Or maybe you were placed in a uh, developmental reading group when you were a kid and you've just identified as, as not a good reader. Or maybe it's an attention issue that you have. Or maybe you love reading, but you just don't like academic reading. Um, I wanted to point to a snapshot of your life. Describe a situation that you think encapsulates or describes some aspect of who you are as a reader. And then I want you to think about like, 
what are some opportunities for growth that you have and how can you apply some of the principles? And a lot of those principles are in that textbook reading um, that I've put for this week. So outside of the writing for the literacy narrative, there's not a lot um, that you need to do. Um, but the writing that you need to do for the literacy narrative is, is substantive. It should be you know, two to three pages of, um, of prose. Uh, and no, you know, you don't need to feel like you need to go beyond that. Um, but the parameters of the assignment are kind of important because I want to see what you can produce um, in an assignment like this. If you have any questions uh, to kind of close us out, I'm going to post in uh, this announcement. There's a link to a opportunity to have a live uh, session this week. Um, if you have questions and want to just join the chat, um, I'm going to post a link to a web meeting that uh, you're more than welcome to use, but it's not a requirement of the course. Uh, but it is going to be synchronous, so you can ask questions in real time. Um, hopefully, there's other students there from the section. Um, if you have questions that are specific to um, to you, we can always use a breakout room or something like that if you don't want to you know, speak about your, your writing publicly. But uh, it is going to be an opportunity for us all to come together um, in the same digital room and share some work. Um, looking forward to meeting some of you, hopefully there uh, in person or whatever, uh, live. <laughs> and um, if you have questions about the assignment or any of the work this week, as always, uh, feel free to reach out. Thank you.